Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Skies. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having an amazing day, and today is the day that we start building our proper base. I'm super excited. Uh, I've got a plan, and I think it's going to be pretty cool, actually. Um, we have been grinding pretty hard <laughs> for the first uh, 10 or 11 episodes of this series, and now we actually have the resources to do some proper building. So I've got like 106,000 limestone, I've got 106,000 marble, uh, about 24,000 basalt. We've got spruce as much as we need. Like we're, we're set as far as uh, building resources go. And I think it's time that we uh, that we do a little something here and that we, uh, we stop with this whole... Um, platforms in the sky that just kind of expand outwards. I want to have a wow factor. I want other hermits to come through this little thing and go, holy cow, this is amazing. Um, so we're going to start working on that today. That's that's the plan. Uh, the first thing I need to do, let's just grab, um, yeah, let's just grab this basalt block. And the first thing we have to do is go through here and then come back, and this is where we stop. Okay, so this is where you get teleported to uh, when you come through this little guy. And that's important because we're going to build kind of the main entrance. I want to have like this big kind of hall, um, like this big hallway, or this big like grand hallway, like a, a main entrance in like a mansion sort of feel. When you come through this, you'll have everything kind of over here. Now, the downside, this is going to involve tearing out a lot of <laughs> what we've built. So, like, all of this, this is all going to go away. We're going to be tearing up a lot of stuff. Uh, why is this stuff replanting itself? Very strange. Uh, it's fine, though. So, yeah, we're going to be tearing up a lot of different stuff today. We're going to be getting... Whoa, 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 whoa. I got stuck there on the uh, the block that turned into something different. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of stuff. It's going to be a lot of different things. Um, now that we know that this is kind of our entranceway, this tree, I hate to say it, but uh, it's time for this to go. It's time for this initial starting island here to go. Uh, all of this is going to get torn out. In fact, just about everything that we have built. Well, not everything, but... A lot of the stuff that we have built thus far is going to get torn away uh, today, and it, and it will be replaced. We'll, we'll make spots for it later, you know, but uh, for the time being, this is going, a lot of this stuff is going to disappear because I need the space to build with, and uh, eventually the plan is to have kind of this giant, like, mansion sort of feel, and, you know, there'll be rooms and hallways and stuff dedicated to whatever you want. And the advantage of building in a sky block is that I can make it kind of whatever shape and size that I want. I mean, I've got a, I have the unbreakable builder's wand, so that'll make things a little bit easier as well. All in all, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. But let me go ahead and start getting some of this stuff torn down. We gotta do away with a lot of this and tear things out and, you know, all this other kind of stuff. A lot of this stuff just needs to go. Uh, there is also the matter of this water. We should probably keep that. Um, oh, I looked at him. I go, go away thing. There we go. Um, give me some buckets, please. There we go. We should probably keep this water. Because if we don't, we're going to probably regret it later. There we go. Water's gone. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to get some stuff torn down. I'm going to start working on our, uh, our entranceway here, get some building and things done, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I have kind of the whole room laid out here. So um, this gold block is where you would actually spawn in if you come to my island using the, uh, the dislocator pedestal. So you'd arrive right here, and you'd be facing this direction. Um, and basically, I've marked out the room. So we're going to have these big pillars made out of uh, chiseled marble. The Greek-capped wide pillar. They look a little funky right now because they're only one high. Uh, and then we'll have walls made out of limestone. And I'm just using the default limestone 
because it's nice and smooth and simple, uh, which is what I want. And then it's going to be kind of this big, huge room. I've also kind of marked out windows, so spacing and everything. Our walls are going to be three thick, and there's a couple reasons for that. First of all, it'll allow me to do some kind of cool stuff with windows design. Since we have uh, chisels and bits, I'll be able to put glass, bo glass blocks kind of like at this uh, level of depth and then chisel the... Um, the like border around it to give us some nice kind of custom window shapes. Uh, the other nice thing about having three thick walls for this mansion is that if I want to run conduits, uh, I can run them through the walls. And yes, I know Ender IO has uh, conduit facades where you can make them look like any other block. But if I want to use any other type of conduit, like mechanism ones or thermal expansion ones or whatever, um, or actually it's supposed to be thermal dynamics. But either way, if I want to use any other type of conduit, um, I can hide them behind the walls. Same with like the uh, the applied energistic stuff. If I want to run my cables, uh, any of that, I can hide them in these gaps. Uh, so I think that's going to be really good. So it's time to make this place come to life. I've got my ultimate builder's wand here, and we are just going to bring this whole thing up all the way to here. And then you'll be able to see kind of what I'm envisioning here. And we'll bring uh, we'll bring these up as well. Come on. You can do it. There we go. So we'll bring that up to like here. Um, I'll chisel this little bit here as well. We're going to go through a ton of limestone. But I have a ton of limestone. So that's perfectly okay. Oh, did I just? No, I didn't. Okay. I thought for a second I misclicked and added another layer to this. Uh, I do need to be very careful with my builder's wand though, because uh, if I misclick, I could accidentally place a ton of blocks in spots that I don't really want to, and that would be kind of a pain to clean up. So I do need to be a little bit careful, but we'll bring these pillars up all, all the way up to here. And then we want to get these gaps all filled in. And we should probably go here, here, and here. And let's just kind of come around this way. And I should almost be able to do this entire thing in one go. Uh, but I do... Stupid Enderman. You're directly in the way of where I need to go. Go away, Enderman. Toss that stuff away. There we go. Grab a bunch more limestone. As I said, we're going to go through a ton of it <laughs> in this build. Uh, it's going to be a little ridiculous, actually. But you can see this is going all the way around. This ultimate builder's wand uh, will really drastically reduce the amount of time that I need to spend uh, doing this. I, and in fact, I would probably not take on a project of this magnitude without this ultimate builder's wand because it would just be ridiculously time consuming. But since we have it, and since we have all the resources that we could possibly want, uh, we should be good to go. So we'll bring these pillars up as well. There we go. Couple more. And what do we got? Two more. Oh, that one got misplaced, probably because I was kind of standing in the block. There we go. And one more pillar. Come on. You... Oh, I'm out of marble. That would do it. And a lot of this stuff... I mean, right now we've got kind of... Uh, the base looks very, like, kind of funky right now. Um, but that's because we're sort of in the process of remaking everything. So, you know, you'll just kind of have to bear with me. Like, right now we're, we're, we have to fly around to get to all of our different things. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very messy right now. But that's okay. Um, you know, as we, no, are you, why, are these not the correct ones? I'm very confused. Why are these not connecting? Oh, I did the Greep capped wide pillar. I did not realize there were multiple Greek cap pillars. Um, okay, so we did this one. There we go. Okay, so we'll have something kind of like this as you walk in. 
And then imagine we'll have windows, like probably up here, and they'll be very, very large, right? They'll be like all the way up to here, and they'll have really kind of like a nice intricate design up at the top using chisels and bits. Um, so that's kind of going to be the plan. And I think it's going to look really cool. And then for our entrance or our exit over here, I want to have basically two levels. So we'll probably have like a, a staircase that kind of comes up to right about here or so, give or take. Uh, and it's not going to be made out of this. It, it won't be sandstone. It'll be some other material. Uh, and we'll have kind of like a double staircase that sort of like winds up and comes around. And then we'll have another uh, exit right here. So it'll it'll basically divide into two floors. So I think this is going to be really cool. Um, as for a ceiling, I don't know yet what I want to use. Part of me wants to use just limestone and just bring that all the way across. Uh, part of me does not. The other thing, too, is I've got these torches marked out. These are eventually going to be um, painted glowstone using Ender.io. I'll take Ender.io, we'll make a painting machine, and I'll paint glowstone to match this texture. Uh, so you, these these lights will be hidden, but everything will be lit up so it's all spawn proof. So anyway, I'm going to get back to working on this. I'm going to get uh, as much of it done as I can. For, uh, well, I'm going to get a good chunk of it uh, done here, and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back, and it's time for the grand reveal. I've, I, I got a little carried away and did more than I intended to, but it is definitely time for the grand reveal. So here we go. Uh, okay. I fell through the floor for a minute, but it's fine. Here it is. Check this out. Is that not absolutely beautiful? I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's sleep real quick, and we'll take a look at some of the things in a little bit more detail. So this is the grand entrance, and I think it really has that kind of uh, wow factor that I was looking for. Um, at the moment, there's not really any ways in and out, but... Oh man, I love this. This came, it came together so nicely. The floor really helps a lot uh, as far as bringing it all together and kind of blending the uh, the marble with the the limestone. Uh, we've got our stairway, our staircase that kind of comes up here, so you can get up to the second floor. Um, these represent doors. Um, I don't know yet how I want to do that. I think this spruce, uh, this chiseled spruce texture here, actually works like super super well for doors for the style that I'm going for. This is kind of like a Kind of like a Spanish mansion sort of feel. Um, Semi-Moroccan almost, but not quite. I don't know. It definitely has that kind of Spanish uh, mansion. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. A missionary? Is that the, the proper term? I don't know. Either way, um, I love the way that this all came together. The ceiling's fairly boring, uh, and we'll do some stuff with that to kind of fix it up. Um, we're going to have a big kind of decorative stained glass window right here. Um, and I'm going to use chisels and bits probably to kind of um, round these corners a little bit more. Uh, you can see there is a lot of chisels and bits. Uh, quite a bit got done here. That took uh, maybe not quite as long as you might think because uh, a lot of it is just copy pasted. Um, but yeah, chisels and bits. I mean, it, it's one of those things. It can really um, be very time consuming and you know it sucks you in and then you're suddenly like four hours later um and it is probably three hours since i recorded the last clip um so the windows have kind of a rounded border up here you know kind of a an arch a little bit and then down here we've got uh kind of this decorative border here as well this is a chiseled white stained glass variant i may swap this out for something else i may go with something that has a little bit more color maybe like a like a light blue um at some point uh haven't really decided on that yet the, the windows are not necessarily final but it wouldn't be very difficult to swap these out uh we've got a chiseled pattern here using chisels and bits uh basically this kind of orangish this is hardened clay that you see in the background here uh, to make those those designs kind of pop out because I was originally just going to do it uh, with the limestone But it, you couldn't really see it very well. So I decided to kind of inlay Some uh, hardened clay back there and that that makes it kind of pop out a little bit more We've got cauldrons with three leaves oak leaves on top uh, and I think that is very good for kind of uh, adding some detail and some interest to the build uh, spruce stairs oak fences 
I mean, it's all here, and it all, I really, I really love this. This is the kind of thing where, you know, other people will come visit, and they'll see this, and they'll be like, holy cow. Because, uh, you know, I think building something like this in and of itself is pretty cool, but doing this in a skyblock <laughs> is really cool, uh, in, my fa in my opinion. Like, this... The fact that this is being done in a sky block is really, it really kind of gives that wow factor, I think. And that's, that's really what I was going for. Um, so I think, I think it's good. Now, we do need to do the stained glass window here. Uh, and we also need to do something with this ceiling. Because it's not that, the, the ceiling is very boring right now. Uh, so we're gonna have to do something here. I don't know exactly what yet. I think I probably want to hang some chandeliers. Ultimately, uh, I, for now, I just have kind of a torch spam on the outside to keep... Uh, th this was like a mob farm. It was so bad. There was mobs just spawning everywhere. Um, so I put down some torches. Eventually, we'll have full blocks on the outside of this and then probably slabs on top or something because otherwise what's gonna happen is we'll get this... Y you can kind of see there's like this weird lighting glitch here. Uh, and that's because these are transparent blocks. It's all slabs and stairs. Uh, so it's letting light through. Um, but we will fix that eventually. That'll be one of those things that we end up doing. Um, I also had to clear away a little bit more. I cleared away the uh, the Tinker Smeltery over here. That's been moved, that's been uh, deposited into my ME system for now. Um, and we need to start... We're going to have to start working on like hallways and things like that. You know, actual stuff that, where this mansion will um, ultimately, you know, kind of come together and turn into a proper base instead of just like this cool entrance. Uh, hey, cub. Uh, there we go. So, yeah. Um, and once we do that, then we'll actually have a way in and out because right now there's it, it, it literally goes nowhere. Uh, so if, if someone comes and visits and doesn't have flight, uh, they're going to have some difficulties uh, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, so I think the next thing that I want to do is we should probably work a little bit on kind of establishing uh, this first hallway. So let me grab some of the materials we're going to need and uh, start getting some stuff put in place. Uh, we'll probably start with the downstairs, I think. Yeah, we'll probably start with the downstairs um, and start getting some of that done. And I will be back in just a minute. All right, guys, I have been doing some work and uh, I have some progress to show you. So I went ahead and I added like this circular window. It's not a perfect circle, but it's close enough for my taste. It is symmetrical uh, using chisels and bits. And I went ahead and I just put uh, the white stained glass back here again. Um, eventually, I want to use stained glass and get kind of like a stained glass uh, mosaic type thing going up there. Uh, but I don't really have that many dyes right now. I've basically got like bone meal and uh, cactus green and lapis. <laughs> and that's basically it. I don't have any red dye. I don't have any of that stuff at all. So um, not exactly the ideal situation when it comes to uh, making stained glass in the colors that I want. So for now, uh, I'm just going to leave it as the white stained glass. Let's put that stuff away. Okay. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is I did come up with a hallway design, and it kind of mirrors... Oh, man. These stupid evolved Endermen. Like, they just... It, it's non-stop. They just spawn and spawn and spawn and spawn. It gets so infuriating. Um, whatever. Uh, maybe I'll make a... Maybe we'll make a Magnum Torch, or a Mega Torch, I guess they're called now. But anyway... Uh, I came up with this hallway design. It kind of mirrors this same thing, except on like a smaller scale. So basically we got pillars with five block gaps in between the uh, limestone walls and then kind of an arched slab roof and then the, the checkerboard floor. Um, and then it's going to go up like this. You can kind of see we'll leave a little bit of a gap here and that way I can still run conduits if I need to. Uh, and it also allows me to have different, um, you know, it gives me some flexibility. I guess is the way to, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it, it's good to have this gap. Um, then I can do things with glowstone if I want it, or I could, it, there's a lot of different things I can do because that gap is present. And we've got some torches up here to keep this lit so nothing can spawn up here. Um, and I've been laying out some rooms. Now, the downstairs and the upstairs are not going to have the exact same layout. Uh, there's a couple rooms here that will, like um, this one is basically a mirror image of the one up above it, 
Uh, but I'm not going to have the same exact layout for both floors uh, and for other future floors as well. We'll probably end up having, you know, lower levels and, and all this other kind of stuff too uh, as it expands. But um, for now, this is kind of what I've laid out. And I don't know what I, all these rooms are going to be used for just yet. Um, I'm thinking this first one is probably going to be my ME system. Uh, which is going to be a nightmare to move. <laughs> um, and actually, the storage drawers are going to be a nightmare to move as well, because this this building right here needs to go. Um, but it's going to be a massive pain to move because I'm going to have to individually move all these drawers with uh, mechanism cardboard boxes, because if I, like, break this, uh, this cobblestone compacting drawer, all the cobble is just going to go spewing everywhere. Uh, and that's going to be a nightmare. So that's going to be a time-consuming thing, and it's going to be a very grindy and annoying thing. Uh, but it will get done at some point. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, but I do need to have a room for all the storage drawers. It's going to... It's probably going to be kind of a room by itself. I'll probably split up the ME system and the storage drawers. Because right now they're all in the same room. I'll probably put the ME system uh, in this first room, as I said before but then the storage drawers will be somewhere else. And the nice thing is, with this gap in the wall, I can run the cables uh, pretty easily. I'll have plenty of uh, plenty of room to run the cables all over the base and do whatever I need to do, and it won't be a big deal. So that's kind of the plan. Um, I think this is going to be our nether portal. Um, this, I'm thinking, this room right here, this kind of L-shaped thinner room, I think this is probably going to be the bedroom. Uh, I'll put a bed in here, and uh, I'll put the bed and, and some other decorative... You know, this will be more a decorative room. Uh, it'll be a bedroom with, you know, different things. Uh, but the base is coming along. It's getting there, and you know what? I'm I'm really happy with it. I think this place turned out extremely well. I especially love... <laughs> I especially love this grand hallway when you first walk in, the feeling that you get where you're like, holy cow, we're in a mansion. Um, I, I love it. And then you'll be able to kind of go throughout the base and go to different places. Now, we're going to have kind of, um, I guess you would almost say some growing pains. We're going we're to have this kind of weird transitional period where I'm still kind of making use of some of the things built in the old base style. The You know, the, the style we started with, with this cobblestone and spruce and the pathways and stuff. Like, this is not going to get moved for probably at least a couple episodes. I wish I could do it right now, but it's just, it, it's going to take a massive amount of time, and I want to have it prepared, because I don't want to move it and then have to move it again. Uh, like, that just sounds annoying. Um, some of the other things are going to have to be moved as well. I'll probably end up having to... Actually, I don't know if I'll have to move the mob farm or redo the mob farm. I'll probably just have an elevator that goes down to it again. I don't know. We'll figure stuff out as we go, but... For now, I think the base is looking great, and uh, we have a, a great start. So I think I am going to go ahead and call the episode right here. I know it's a little shorter as far as the video length goes, but uh, we got a lot of progress done today. We got a, a ton done. I mean, look at this place. This is fantastic. I'm so happy with it. Um, and this is, you know, between the actual building itself and then all the chisels and bits, there's probably like eight or nine hours into this episode, so... Uh, yeah, I'm out of time. I need to move on to other things. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.